Hey, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, it's going to be firmware upgrades with a manifest file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to download from my Brocade, you're going to download the zip file of the version that you're going to upgrade to. So um, if we look at the zip file here, this is for 8040A. Um, so it comes with the base 8040A directory, and within that within that directory structure, there's a 7250, 7450, 7750, and then manifest and signature files, and a, and a checksum file. And then within each of those, uh, so the 7250, for example, there's boot code, there's PoE firmware, there's the image files, so the switch and router code, the MIBs, and the signature. So the boot code and the and the PoE firmware very rarely change, and you can you should consult your um, the release notes. But uh, this is a, a quick way to do it when you need to. So um, what we want to do is we want to simplify the upgrade process. So with one command, we want to be able to upgrade both the boot code and the um, the switcher router code on the device. Um, and if it's a stack, it'll do the entire stack. So uh, one command to, to greatly simplify your world, and it will even choose the right kind of hardware. So based on the hardware it's upgrading, it will choose the right files out of that directory structure. So what we want to do first is we're going to unzip that, that zip file into a directory structure on your TFTP root. And then uh, we've got the copy command here. So we've got some, some options under copy. Um, so this is the source, right? We're, we can copy from disk, from flash, from SCP, from TFTP, etc. Um, but we're going to go copy from TFTP to, and we could go to the flash, to a license if we're installing a license, uh, or system manifest, which is what we're after this time. So system manifest, okay. And then it wants the IP address of my TFTP server. Okay, and then it wants the file name of the manifest. So in this case, we need to put also put in the directory structure here. So it is uh, 08040A slash, uh, and then the name of the manifest file, which is FI040A underscore manifest dot text. Then you choose whether you want the primary or secondary, so just the image code, or if you do all images primary or all images secondary, it's also going to do the boot code and the boot signature. So we are actually, in this case, we're going to do all images, uh, say, we'll do all images secondary. Now it's going to say you're about to download the boot image and the boot signature file as well as the, the uh, you know, the image you're after. So are you sure you want to do this? So we're going to say yes. And there it goes. So the first thing it does, it goes out of the TFTP and downloads the manifest file. Um, then once it opens that manifest file, it's going to identify the right hardware and then download the firmware code um, or the, the, yeah, the um, switcher router code, the boot code, and the boot signature code. And then, um, so right now it's loading those into the buffer. After that, it's actually going to load them onto the devices. And if there's multiple devices in that stack, it's going to do them all in one fell swoop. So um, we're not going to wait for this to, to end, but um, this is a very, very easy way to upgrade multiple devices. You don't have to identify what kind of device it is and copy the right firmware and boot code into the into the TFTP root directory. You just point it at, the, at that manifest file, and it will go out and, and um, grab the right files and put them in the right place. So uh, we've just made it a little bit easier. That manifest file, again, comes in the zip file, so you don't have to build your own. It's already there. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.